to you like shopping like I do. Because if you do, I have some new shopping idioms for you. That's coming up. Hello and welcome. Today's lesson I believe is very useful because we are talking about shopping idioms and because this is a very very common subject you are going to hear these idioms all the time. So what I'm going to do is I'll give you the idioms, a little bit of an explanation of how and when they're used and then an example sentence. So let's get to it. Our first idiom is window shopping. To window shop means to just look in the window of a store without buying anything and just kind of look and see what what is there. And this is probably the one I like the least. <laughs> and uh, the reason is because when you window shop for something, you don't actually shop. You don't actually go inside the store and, and buy stuff. You just look, which I guess it can be fun sometimes, but most of the time I think it's more fun when you actually buy things. We've got a lot of window shopping to do. Plus this is the perfect time to catch up on my window shopping. I'm very well aware that there are many people who like to window shop and I the only thing I like to window shop for is I think like furniture and interior design stuff. That can be kind of fun. It gives me ideas. I like to window shop for antiques. So how about you? What do you like to window shop for? Do you like it? Is it annoying? What do you think? The next idiom is a ripoff. A ripoff. And this is used as a noun or a verb. So something can be a ripoff or somebody can rip you off. And either way, it's not a good thing because when something is a ripoff, it means that it costs way more than it should. Way more. What? What a ripoff! I got ripped off! A ripoff is kind of an informal way to say that um, somebody's stealing from you. <laughs> so if something's a ripoff, you almost feel like somebody was trying to steal money from you. That's, that's how much you're paying for this particular item. It's a ripoff. $4 for an avocado? That's a ripoff. The next idiom is shop till you drop. <laughs> You may have heard this one. Uh, I, I hear it in movies all the time. Everyone always talks about how they like to shop till they drop. I think it's a, it's a catchy idiom because it rhymes. It, it just means to shop for a really, really long time until you become exhausted. So if you have ever shopped till you drop, you know that feeling of the end of your shopping day when you're just like tired and ready to take a nap or something. At Christmas time, I usually shop till I drop for the perfect gifts. The next idiom is retail therapy or shopping therapy. You could say either one, they mean the same thing. What this means is to shop to make yourself feel better. So just kind of like what it sounds like. This is just something that we do if we've had a bad day or if we've had a rough time. Sometimes we just need a little retail therapy or shopping therapy. I had a bad day at work, so I did a little retail therapy on my way home. The next one is bargain hunting. And when you bargain hunt, you are looking for deals. That is what a bargain is, is a deal. So bargain hunting means actively searching for really, really good deals on things that you shop for. Anyway, now we are going bargain hunting. I'm not going to blow this by bargain hunting. I like finding good deals, but I don't think I have the patience to always go bargain hunting. My mom loves to go bargain hunting on Black Friday. The next idiom is to shoplift. And this is a little bit of a bad one because, you know, it involves a crime, which is never good. To shoplift means to steal something from a store. You shoplift. If you take it and hide it and walk out with it without paying for it, it's not a good thing. Don't, don't shoplift. The girl shoplifted some candy from the store. Fit like a glove is our next idiom and we usually use it for clothes or some kind of article of clothing because when something fits like a glove it means it fits you perfectly. It looks like it was meant for your body and you know it's the perfect size, the perfect shape for you. Fits like a glove. 68 years since I wore this uniform still fits me like a glove. And everyone loves to find something that fits like a glove. It makes us feel great. I love my new shoes. They fit like a glove. Our next idiom is like a bull in a china shop. 
I know it sounds like a mouthful, but it's 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 kind of a very specific idiom. What it is, is kind of what you imagine it to be. So if you imagine a bull in a china shop, you know, it would destroy everything. So because everything is breakable, it's porcelain, so it would break. You know, I'm obviously gonna have to go talk to my bull in a china shop. You're coming in here like an emotional bull in a china shop. The idiom kind of means the same thing. If somebody behaves like a bull in a china shop, they are acting recklessly. They are acting clumsily. They are causing trouble. He marched into the meeting like a bull in a china shop. Our next idiom is a shopping spree. And a shopping spree is kind of a short period of time in which somebody buys a lot of things. The word spree, it just means kind of a short period of time and it kind of shows like a lot of things that are happening in a short period of time. When I got pregnant, I went on a shopping spree for baby clothes. Our next idiom is pay through the nose. And this one's really funny for me for some reason. Just imagine taking out money out of our noses. It's actually not that funny in real life because when you pay through the nose, it means you end up paying a lot of money for something, usually more than the fair price. Make them pay through the nose. Fact, they'll pay through the nose for it. So it's, it's not really a, pay, a fair price that you're paying. You're paying a lot more than that. So it's not such a good thing. We waited until the last moment to get our plane tickets. So we had to pay through the nose. Okay, I hope you have a better understanding of these 10 idioms, but now comes the most important part. It's time to practice. I have some questions for you using these idioms and in the comments, I'd like you to answer them. So you can choose to answer one of these questions or two or all three of them. The more you answer, the better it will be because you get to practice more idioms. So here they are. The first one is, when was the last time you went on a shopping spree? Have you ever behaved like a bull in a china shop? Or do you have something that fits you like a glove? Let me know the answer to any of these in the comments and be sure to write in full sentences using the idiom that I mentioned. Remember, idioms are an amazing way to improve your English fluency. And if you're looking to further improve your fluency, check out our secret lesson. It's linked in the description. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you had a great time learning some new English idioms. Thanks. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching our lesson today. I'll see you next time.